Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. For today's tutorial video, we will be discussing division of radicals. So make sure that you watch our videos in multiplication of radicals because we will be, need, we will be needing some principles in that multiplication of radicals in this, in this topic, division of radicals. Now, if we have nth root of A over nth root of B, that is equal to nth root of A over B. Let's have our first example. If we have a square root of 20 divided by square root of 4, so we have indices which is 2 here and 2 in our denominator, so that is equal to 20 divided by 4 square root of 5. Notice if we have the same index, so we can just copy nth root of the numerator, which is a, over b. Likewise, square root of 20 over square root of 4 is equal to square root of 20 divided by 4, which is 5. If we have number 2, cube root of 60 over cube root of let's say 4 so we have cube root of 60 divided by 4 so cube root of 60 divided by 4 60 divided by 4 or let's say 80 80 so 80 so 80 divided by 4 that is 20. If it has a factor of perfect cube, then we can simplify that into all this term. Now let's have the following examples. A letter A, B, and C. For A and B, we can use this principle. So this is just the same as a square root of A over a square root of 2. So First step, always check the index. So we have square root of a over 2. 8 divided by 2, that is square root of 4. Square root of 4. 4 is a perfect square number. So we can still simplify. That is equal to 2. Our final answer is 2. Next. 6 cube root of 24 divided by 2 cube root of 2. So that is the same as 6 cube root of 24 divided by 2 cube root of 2. So check the indices. Our index in the numerator is 3. Index in the denominator is 3. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Now we have cube root of 24 divided by 2, that is 12. Do we have a perfect, a perfect cube number that is a factor of 12? So the perfect cubes are 1, 8, 27, 9. In that case, this will be our final answer. Now, in letter C, notice that we have different indices and different radicals. So all we need to do to apply our principle is the indices must be the same or the index must be the same. So first step, let us write into rational exponent. Just like what we did in multiplication. So that is equal to 6 raised to 1 third divided by 3 raised to 1 half. Now, 
3 and 2. Our LCD is 6. So 6 divided by 3. That is 2 times 1. Divided by 3. So 6. 6 divided by 2. That is 3 times 1. So 3. Next, we write into radical form. So we have 6 root of 6 square divided by 6 root of 3 cubed. So this can be written as 6 root of 6 square, that is 6 times 6, 36, divided by 6 root of 3 cubed, that is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So this can be written as 6 root of 36 over 6 root of 27. Now we have the same index for the numerator and for the denominator. Now we can divide our radicand. So 6 root of 36 over 27. Reduce the lowest term. So 6 root of 36 factors can be 12 times 3 and for 27 that is 9 times 3. Now we can cancel 3 and still we can reduce this 6 root of divisible by 3. So this will become 4 and this will become 3. So 4 over 3. 6 root of 4 over 3. Now, in simplifying radicals, this must be, or no radical sign must be in the denominator. So we have 6 root of 4 over 6 root of 3. Now we need to conjugate. We need to multiply to 6 root of 243 over 6 root of 243. So we have 6 root of 4 times 243. So uh, 243 times 4 is 2, carry 1, 16, 17, carry 1, no, 972. 972. And this is, this will give us a perfect 6 root number that is equivalent to 3. So, this will be our final answer. 6 root of 972 over 3. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and for our next video, Solving Radical Equation. See you.